So I have a challenge for you guys here. I want you guys to guess what I'm changing on this detector here. Um, I have a hand digger in the ground right here and I have a shovel over there and I'm just gonna swing over this area here with the settings. Now I'll, I'll tell you my settings, but I'm not gonna show you what I just, see if you guys can guess what I just, and it's probably gonna be something that you really didn't think of. Um, so I'm gonna just tell you my settings here. I'm in sensitive full tones, program number three. My settings are 93 sensitivity, frequency 40, iron volume 10, reactivity three, auto response four, discrimination zero. Full tones, five offset, zero bottle cap, zero notch, zero silencer. My audio filter's at one and I'm in square high tones. My ground stability is at two here, okay? So I'll just go over this, this area here and I'm gonna have to go to that setting here. I'm just gonna go to that setting here and I'm just gonna leave it on that setting but just listen, listen to the tones here. You guys already know my settings. There's a good one. Okay. Come back to that one. I'll mark it. Mar I, I, I can't mark it. There are so many pine cones here. So I use I, I I use this program a lot and but not like this. I'll just change this one setting here. This one setting, I'll adjust it. I adjusted it right here. Um this just this one setting. Listen to it now. Now I'll go halfway in between to what it was at start with and right now, I'll just go up a little bit here. Okay, right here. Even halfway is still, there might be something masked here. Right? So I'll tell you what it is, is my auto response. My auto response was at four to start with, and then I went to zero, and now I'm at two here. And I use this program a lot in at one auto response, one or two auto response. Seems to be just right. All right. So now watch, I'll, I'll come over here. I think there's a tart right over here somewhere. I'll, I'll just take my hand digger here. It sounds pretty shallow. Let's do it. Now I'll go at four auto response here. Let's do it. Makes it really hard to concentrate, man, when you are when you're in a hot spot. Um, this isn't really a super hot spot, but the I have hot soil and there's a lot of iron. Uh, there's a lot of iron oxides in my soil but these are just mostly iron bits of iron and it will give you false and high tones on those bits of iron if you have your auto response set high ground super dry here it kind of sounds cancel off or something see the, the, my pinpointer is just going off on the soil because there's just so much iron here Probably should have dug this out with my shovel, but uh, yeah. My hindsight ain't very good, so. Oh boy. Jeez, man. 
here? No. Okay, let's try this again here. With the auto response set at zero or one, not at four. Because um, I'll tell you what happened there. My auto response was at four and that made it so that target sounded bigger and it sounded like it was near the surface. So I, I used my hand digger, but it was a lot deeper. So with these, when these targets are deeper like that, I want a lower auto response so I know that it's a deeper target so it sounds, it sounds mellower and quieter. You know, your auto response has, serves many purposes. And, you know, I, it's gone. See, it's deeper, right? It's deeper. I'll grab my shovel for this one. It sounded really shallow with the four, four auto response, right? My auto response is way too high. Right there, right there. Sin since this target's deep, I want it sounding deep. I do not want it sounding right, it's like it's right on the surface there. Oh boy. Dry ground here, man. I'll go for it. Are they gold oh, nugget? Oh man, this stuff is dry, man. What's that? It's some cans law. Hmm. It's some some brass there, some really thin brass. I'm not gonna be able to get the rest of it out. It's just way too dry to dig targets like that right now so your auto response jacked up like that you're gonna get a lot of falsing it just uh, it really attenuates a lot of that falsing having a low auto response I just wonder how it's gonna respond with these new 1.0, 1.1 software. I wonder how it's gonna to respond to my soil once it becomes wet. Um, having a low low silencer and low filtering like this, um, I wonder what the auto response is gonna do when the soil's wet. This is one auto response here. Now I'll just swing over this area at four auto response. There's no way. It's unusable. It's unusable at four auto response here. I will go to zero, or minus 6.4 discrimination here. So negative discrimination here. Still way too much here. And now I'll go with my auto response down to zero here. Zero auto response, listen to it. This is minus 6.4. So wide open, no filters, wide open right here. Running it just raw. I mean, they're raw, raw. <laughs> but it's calm, it's calm, man. My, I'm, I'm at 93 sensitivity here, so I'm sensitive to small targets. So when I go up high, high sensitivity like this, I'm going to be sensitive to that small, small iron, and that auto response is really going to amplify that falsing. I don't want to go out in the sun because it's starting to get hot already. It's supposed to be 100 degrees today. this four auto response listen to this it's just too much man too much too much falsing I've seen a lot of people have problems with their detector and the auto response is the culprit for falsing the auto response is the culprit zero auto response here 
I can hit on five inch deep targets right here and I will be able to hear those targets a lot better because they're a faint whisper I don't have all those loud iron tones those loud that loud falsing with a high sight with a high um audio response here right it makes it much easier to concentrate something big there I'll go to four five auto response here overloads the machine it, it, it overloads the tones right it's just like a sensory overload here there's too much happening there right. i'll get a one auto response here Listen to this. working very good here working very good here There we go. See that? See that? Huge difference, man. It makes it much more of a pleasurable hunt. Makes it easier to pick targets out with the low auto response. I've just not been able to use um, the high auto response setting, um, their stock the stock uh the stock auto response on any programs because um i'm running it hot in other areas you know i'm hunting running high sensitivity low silencer low zero zero filtering so the auto response is that last filter that um really makes a big difference man well, again, Barry, call it day. yep let's do it Here.